This is my devastating 4-2-3-1 for Manchester United. We've got goals from Vutvek Horst. We've got goals and assists from Rashford, Sancho, even Anthony and Bruno Fernandes, the star of the show. This is how I would get the best out of Manchester United on FM23. <laughs> Here we are next up on my list of tactics to make for teams. I'm not trying to break the game, it's just how to get the best out of this team. And I think I've done it. Here's the shape and what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get the best out of Big Vo Veghorst. Standing six foot six, aerially superb, he's strong, but he's not just, he's got heading, he's got off the ball, strength, jumping, anticipation. He's not just a target man, we need to get more out of him than that. Marcus Rashford, he's quick, he can finish, he's off the balls, excellent flair, determination. He's not a winger, but we're not going to put him in centre forward, put him just off one of the cut-on side, be dangerous, get me attack and get goals for us. Sancho Anthony on that right, cutting inside, dribbling 18, amazing. Agility's 18, he can pass off the ball, flair. You want him a licence to do what he wants on that right-hand side. And if we can get Bruno Fernandes back to his best with goals, assists, don't care at penalties, but he's a set-piece master, crossing, corners, free kicks, passing, off the ball, anticipation. He's got everything and we can get the very best out of him. That's going to help us win this league. This is the 4-2-3-1 and we're playing the two DMs because in this match engine, you need to play two, two DMs. It's just better. Trust me, I've tested lots of different variations of this and this is the one that worked the very best. The key for me to get the best at this team is the fullbacks are good. They're not great, so we, just, we don't want them wing backs attack, complete wing backs. We want them to protect that midfield to supply the balls to the wingers and cross if they can. The danger comes from the front four, from pressing, passing, attacking. We've got the balls from Christian Eriksen. We don't want to limit Casemiro too much. You want him to get forward as well, push on, and you see shown in real life the threat that you can be in the final third already this season. Man, you are champions of the Premier League. 84 points, take that. Murph FM, he won the league with 81, and I was raging because in so many simulations, I got 86 points and came third. Uh, just four defeats, and the problem that I had was trying to get the defence to stop leaking goals. 27, 27 goals conceded is the, but the best I've had in any sim, and that's why you win the league. I had like 42, the 30s, the high 30s, I think it was in the 50s, never in the 20s. We got the 20s, we got the defence sorted, and we won the league. One thing that upset me is Big Voot only played 50, started 15 games, scored 12 goals, was doing well. I'm not sure why he didn't start more. That's annoying me. Uh, but Bruno Fernandes, 19 goals, 7 assists as in the AM. We even got 16 goals off Donny van der Beek. That's amazing. Anthony, 15 and 15. Great from him. Rashford, 14 and 13. Sancho, 9 and 16. Like the amount of productivity we got out of that front four is phenomenal. Ericsson, four goals, 15 assists. Key man in that DM position. In the data hub, 2.39 goals per game. The conceded is under one. That's what I'm always aiming for, under one. 17 shots per game is really good. Really good pass completion, really good shots on target ratio as well. Look at a team overview, most goals, 91. Fantastic. Only third in shots for, way behind City, but that, it's all about how many you get in the back of it, isn't it? Few shots against, we're fourth, that's probably the best it did as well. Uh, average possession, 55%, it's really, really strong. Conceded the fewest, that's how you win titles. Uh, clean sheets, 20. And here are those roles, I'll talk you through them. David De Gea in goals, goalkeeper on defend. Wing back is Diego Dallo, Prem is wing back support. Didn't want to go too attacking, I didn't want to really attack that space, I wanted to be getting support but not too attacking. On the left side for balance, we've got the full back on attack. One ball playing defender, one normal center back. You could even have two ball playing with uh, Martinez as well. Uh, Christian Eriksen as a roaming playmaker, the game loves this role, especially in DM. And he'll move around and look for the ball and get in the little pockets of space. And you'll see with the 15 assists, ping balls as well. A DM on support, that's for Sabitzer or for Casemiro. They'll still support but they'll plug that hole as well. Wing back on attack on the right with Anthony. You saw the production, really, really good. Shadow striker for Bruno Fernandes. When Veg makes those makes that movement, you want Bruno or Donny van der Beek getting in the box. Marcus Rashford on 
in stage four on support. And the reason why, with support, then stage four will cut diagonally into the space behind defense and play through balls or take long shots. I don't want him on attack because attack is about dribbling. Run directly defense. I, I want the movement. I don't want the dribbling. I want him to make the runs there. And then get the balls from the DLF, from the, the inverted winger, from the SS, from Ericsson. That's what I want from this tactic. And I'm going to share the competitions because it didn't do great. But then what I tried, I tried after the sim, I made a, a change to the set of pieces, ran it again. United came second on, I think it was 85 points, but won the Europa League. Same tactic, one tweak the set of pieces, change the results. Make of that what you will. And to try out the tactic with a different team, I went for another 4 2 3 1 side, which is Borussia Dortmund, Sebastian Haller. I thought he's the man to be that DLF rule. 23 goals from Haller, uh, Rafael Guerrero, 15 assists. I think a lot of them be set pieces. And Dortmund finished second by three points, which is really annoying. 78 goals scored, more than Bayern, 34 conceded, which were on that one a game line, right on it. Only five defeats and none of them were against Bayern. Yeah, it beat Bayern 4-2 and I think the other one was a draw. Yes, to me that shows you how strong it is. 13 goals for Giovanni Reina, 10 goals out of the corners. Mats Hummels, the big man, we put him on the, the near post. Royce with 10 assists, Guerrero with 15. Like, considering it's not made for Dortmund, but they have a lot of similar players, I think that done really well. Just, just missing out on the title from Bayern. And then we tried it out with PSV. They have Luke de Jong, another big man with a good touch who can play the DLF and they've got the players playing out wide. I did not move Noni or Cody Gakpo, so they were in this side as well. And they finished one point behind Ajax. So close as well. Luke de Jong with 32 goals. Cody Gakpo, 14 assists. Uh, 73 goals, 25 conceded, 25 is really good. Good data analyst there, 2.15 goals, 20 shots per game. So they should have scored more than Man United. Man United had 17 shots. Conceded is actually, but yeah, you can see that much better there. 32 for De Jong, 22 for Noni Maduke. That inverted winger on attack is really working well on this tactic. Shame it didn't work for the Ryan Cherky video, which you can see above there. Cody Gapo, 14 and 14, amazing. Uh, Gus Thiel uh, at the Shadow Striker shows you the difference in quality of player because uh, Bruno Fernandez smashed it more than Gus did, but still some good results. And strong assists across the board as well. 14 for Gakpo, 13 for Maduike, Max, uh, Philip Max with 9, Mario Junior, 8, Boscagli, 6, Vermin, 5, like assists all over the board. Fantastic. Made for Man United, you'll agree this has worked really well for Dortmund and PSV as well. Maybe a few tweaks to get the best out of some of their players. And easily you've got a championship side there. 1.3 points off in second. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Will you give this a go? If you're Man United, what would you change from the tactic I put there? I think this is, that's the best role to get the best out of those players. If you've enjoyed this, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. It tells YouTube you want to see more of this. Let's me know you want to see more of it too. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more of these tactics, check out one of the videos you'll see beside you, one of these. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.